Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here today to talk to you guys about how to prepare your club for team of the season that is quickly approaching. Now, obviously, the first thing that we're gonna have from team of the season is team of the season most consistent, and this actually is a good time for us to look at a lot of ways to prepare our clubs for the big time TOTS releases that will come after this team of the season most consistent. In years past during team of the season most consistent, we haven't seen the type of SBCs or the type of repeatable packs, um, upgrade packs or stuff like that. Not the type of quality that we have seen in the later team of the seasons. So that's why this presents a really good opportunity to prepare our clubs for what a lot of us wanna do in the next couple of weeks. During team of the season, that's like rip upgrade packs, try out TOTS players, and do icon SBCs um, from the players that we pack and all kinds of stuff like that. So I wanna go through a few things today talking about how you can best prepare your club to get ready for that. These aren't things that you have to do right now. These are things that you can do over the course of this week leading up to Premier League TOTS, but especially this weekend when a lot of packs are opened and a lot of players are coming onto the market with the community team of the season being released. Um, or most consistent, whatever you want to call it, the, the voted on team of the season that we had just a couple of days ago where the voting was open. So that's going to be coming out soon. And even though the, the amount of packs that will be open this weekend might not be as many as it is for Premier League TOTS, there's still going to be a lot of people that give in and open up some of their saved packs that they have in the store. I don't have any saved packs going on right now inside of my club. Um, but I know a lot of people do and it's gonna be hard for people to save their packs this weekend and you're you're there's gonna be people out there who forget that you know other team of the seasons are coming they're gonna open some of their packs some people might even open all of their packs for team of the season most consistent coming this week and that's gonna present an opportunity on the market to buy a lot of things now we're gonna start from a lower value and kind of work our way up top so this is almost gonna seem uh, stupid probably to you guys but Buying rare gold players is a very good way to prepare your club. If I could figure out how to work the menus here, is a very good way to prepare your club during team of the season. Now, obviously you can set a filter like this. Basically just go by league, go through and buy rare gold players at this minimum discard value. They're, they aren't showing up right now for me just because, um, you know, there's not a lot of packs being opened, but when you see all these packs that are gonna be open the first couple days, of um, most consistent team of the season. That is a huge amount of rare gold cards that will be coming onto the market. You can set a filter just like you saw me here do 600 minimum buy now and like a 700 or 750 uh, max buy now. You can go through and bin on those cards or what's almost easier to do, set a minimum price of 600, a max price of 700. Just, just go through here and bid 650 on some of these cards. It's not it's not something that a lot of people are going to be doing, but it's something that can save you a lot of coins in the upcoming week. If you stock your clubs with these rare gold cards that are needed for those upgrade SBCs, if you're paying 650 coins for each one, you're doing an SBC that requires 11 of those, you know, you're you're sitting at about 11,000 coins for uh, or 7,000 coins, excuse me, for that SBC to complete it. But when the hype is there, when everybody is doing repeatable upgrade packs, those rare gold cards, they go for around 1,000 coins. People will be buying those cards for 1,000 coins. So if you stock your club with all the leagues at 700 coins per card for all the rare cards, um, League One, Serie A, literally every rare card in the game, any rare gold card in the game, stock your club. Even if you want to spend the time, go over to Footbin, and search all rare golds and get one of each that are you know 700 coins a piece more power to you i mean honestly it's going to save you some coins during team this season and if you're on a really low budget um, you could bu honestly buy a bunch of them even guys like this from the saudi league like not a lot of these guys are going to be going for much more than discard but you can get them right now for 650 even this balassi you know obviously he is not in the premier league anymore he's in the belgium league just drop a 650 bid and you're going to win a lot of these cards and that's going to save you a lot of money on team of the season upgrade packs now the second thing i want to do moving up we're going to look at some sbc requirements we're going to look at high rated golds um, and informs now right now 
A lot of the high rated golds are still up and they're kind of high and inflated on the market, but they are starting to come down. You see here 86s are, a lot of them are under 20K now, which is a big improvement. A lot of the 87s are under 30, 27K seems to be the middle. The 88s are at 35 and the 89s are at 48. You're gonna see a lot of this continue to drop over the next couple of days. Um, and while some people are gonna encourage you to invest in cards that may go out of packs, that's not the type of investing I want you guys to do. I want you guys to stock your club, again, like we talk about with the high rated golds. This weekend's gonna create an opportunity for a club stock on high rated golds. And you know, some people are gonna say, well, Nate, there's gonna be even more packs opened during Premier League Tots team of the season. Yes, that is true. But this might be an opportunity to club stock during club uh, during team of the season most consistent. Then maybe they drop a couple SBCs during the week. You can sell those cards at an increased price. Maybe you buy your 86s on the weekend uh, when lightning rounds are going. Maybe you buy those 86s for around 15,000 coins. Maybe get some on bid for even lower than that. You can turn around and sell them later in the week and SBC comes out and maybe they're at 18, 19, 20,000 coins. You can dish those out and then get back in um, the next weekend when Team of the Season Premier League does come out. So that's a great way to just kind of stay ahead of the curve with the investing in the gold cards and having those cards ready in your club. You could just buy cards during Team of the Season most consistent. They lowered a lot of the price ranges for these cards. For a lot of the high rated cards earlier this week, they lowered the price ranges on them. They lowered their maximums and their minimums to be even lower. Um, kind of preventing them from going higher, but that also kind of shows me that EA thinks these cards are going to be cheaper uh, heading on out through the rest of the team of the season because they're very cheap. Now, I haven't looked really in depth on what happened to a lot of these cards last year, the gold cards during team of the season. I will do some more research into that here um, soon, but basically all you need to know is when the gold cards just hit a certain amount, they're gonna go low, you just stock your club, you th and you throw them in there and you let them sit. You don't invest in them, you just club stock some of these 85, 86, 87s, 88s, and even 89s if they do get low enough because um, there are Icon SBCs always in the store that people are going to be continuing to complete during team of the season when these players get cheap and when they have upgrade packs and they pack a lot of players untradeable. Continuing on the SBC side of things, preparing your club for SBCs, there's definitely gonna be a lot of them during TOTS and whenever we have SBCs, inform requirements are there. Um, looking at informs right now, they are a bit inflated because today we had the Carlos Vela SBC. Um, that required some informs. I think a lot of people are doing that. Even the Jamie Vardy SBC, I do believe required some informs as well. Two team of the week, yeah, six team of the week players for Jamie Vardy. And I think people are doing this SBC right now because there's just not a ton to do on the game. And you know, these are pretty cheap moderately cheap and pretty good card stats, pretty good cards um, in the game right now. So over here you see I'm flipping that a lot of these cards are inflated a little bit. 81s are at 14,000 coins, the cheapest in form, even 83s are at 20k. Um, with this next upcoming team of the week, make sure you spot out the good investments from this next team of the week that will be dropping today and make sure you hop on those. Yes, they're going to have a lot of supply from the packs on the weekend. Um, but throwing one of those cards in your club when it gets to a cheap, cheap price on Friday or Saturday during lightning rounds is gonna be a great thing for you to do to save some coins. And almost as a discard investment, there's gonna be more and more inform requirements throughout the rest of the year. Um, and another thing to look out for is past Team of the Week informs that drop lower because of other informs that are new on the market getting low as well. Let's say like this max card, 18,000 coins left mid from the Bundesliga, very popular SBC card, easy to link. Bundesliga Tots is in a couple weeks. Let's say this card drops down to 14,000 coins. I think he, that's about his lowest point when he was in packs, he was at 14K, 13K for this card. Let's say he drops back down there when all the other 82 informs go low because there's packs being opened, you know, and people just list these cards up to get coins, which is going to be happening here this week as well. People are just going to list random stuff in their club to get coins, and that's what you're going to see cards get lower for that, even the SBC fodder ones. But we've already been seeing that with the higher tier market. So just keep your eyes kind of peeled for this. You know, you can easily go in here, go to che search cheapest players by rating on Footbin, come down here, click on the gold inform button, 
click apply, scroll down, and it'll sort it by rating. It goes up to 80. Oh, actually, they increased it now. Oh, yes. They put all these ratings in here for the informs now. So it used to stop at like 84, but now it continues to go up. So that is very nice. So just look at all these inform prices. I wouldn't go too much higher than the 87 and 88s just because if you have an 89 rated squad, maybe you're picking up one of these higher rated informs. But for most of the uh, icon SBCs that you need, you can get away with a cheapest solution with an 84, 85, or 86 rated inform and then use some higher rated gold cards. But this is another area where you're going to just keep a watch on it. Um, this weekend, as a lot of people are opening packs, this is going to be an area where people aren't really thinking to look. They're not going to be going out and looking at um, what discard in inform investments or what sniping can I do right now to stock in my club. They're going to be wanting to try out the first batch of Team of the Season cards that is going to be coming into the game. So even a guy like this uh, Jonathan Vieira card, who's at 23,000 coins right now, kind of hyped up because of SBCs. Um, since he is just now in this Team of the Week, and this Team of the Week does not have a lot of supply, maybe another Spanish um, player will come out next week's Team of the Week. People will kind of be selling off their informs if they invested in this card because it's not going up, and they want to get um, their coins for Team of the Season. Maybe you see this card's price drop down to 20,000 coins. In that case, that would be a massive, massive buy there. So another just kind of time to club stock this weekend with the informs and the gold cards. And this brings me to my last point in the video. I want to talk about team of the season, most consistent investing. Now, this is something that a lot of people did last year. And we're going to take a look last year at some of those early on team of the season cards that came out and some of their movements. We're also going to take a look back to FIFA 17 because in FIFA 17, they didn't require these TOTS cards like they did in FIFA 18. Now, this is going to bring back some memories to you guys. Wait until you see some of these cards. Diego Jota, obviously this is the EFL TOTS, came out right away with Team of the Season most consistent. It was out right after that, and a lot of people made bank off of these cards because they got cheap, and they got cheap in a hurry because of their, they were very high pack weight since a lot of these guys have very low base rating cards. And of course, you needed Team of the Season cards for SBCs, so these cards went crazy, crazy high in value. Especially a guy like this, uh, this Reed card, who doesn't really have a ton of in-game value. His stats are decent, his stats are nice, uh, but he's 85 rated, so that's a perfect kind of mixture with, he doesn't have the incredible stats. This isn't a card that a lot of people would want to go out and try. Three star, three star, 88 pace, 85 shooting. Eh, you know? But look at his price. He gets down here to 32,000 coins. Pretty cheap, right? Pretty cheap, right? Boom. Requirements come out the next week for a guaranteed Premier League TOTS player SBC. And this man goes to 80,000 coins. He goes from 30k to 80k and I remember remember people last year who were banking on a team of the season player requirement they went all in on these cards and they made stupid amounts of money and the opportunity is there again this year but I want to also kind of talk to you guys and, and you know caution you guys a little bit as well um, when we're gonna look back here see here's another example of Vidra decent card but not a card that a lot of people were gonna use 30k boom he goes to 80k as well we're going to look at, take a look back here, way back at FIFA 17, and look what happened with these cards. So let's go with 87 Vormer. Obviously more of an SBC card, probably used a lot. They weren't required in those first couple of weeks of Premier League Tots. The man stays at discard value of 21,000 coins for literally a month, over a month. And then boom, they had some type of tots requirement back here and he shoots up to 40,000 coins and he obviously was probably very rare for the rest of the year. So that's just one thing that I wanna kind of caution you guys on. We're not guaranteed a team of the season player requirement. Now, is it more likely? Yes, because we see a lot more SBCs this year than we did in FIFA 17, guaranteed team of the season SBCs. EA knew that those were a hit last year. A lot of people liked those last year. I would expect them to come back this year, so I would expect to see more market movements like this with the high rated, um, or excuse me, with the discard cards here from the um, early on team of the seasons being a good investment. But I still want you guys to be careful because this is never guaranteed. They could do a lot of high rated gold investments. They could do um, 
other special cards throughout the year. Maybe they could even require UCL cards as well. It could be an opportunity where instead of requiring a lot of these, maybe they throw in a UCL rare player requirement. Um, so that's just one thing that I really want to kind of point out to you guys. I know a lot of people are really hyping up, you know, let's invest in these cards. And I think it is a good idea. Um, but again, I think I might take the club stock rule on this one. You know, if you see cards at discard, by all means, go ham. Go go nuts, buy them all. I'm serious. Like, if you see some of these most consistent cards that come out this week at a discard value, you know, the discard value for these cards is usually around 20,000 coins. Um, even even a guy like a Juan Visaka, um, or, you know, some of the guys that I voted for in my team of the season, I think I voted for Endon Bailey. I don't think he would be discarded, and I'm struggling to think of some other ones that could be discard. But I'm not sure if we're getting, uh, you know, an EFL team of the season this year or even a rest of the world uh, because a lot of these cards were the ones that hit that cheapest point. Some of these guys down here like the Leo Matos, the Kobayashi, some of these guys were ones that hit the lowest point last year but I don't really know if they're going to do a rest of the world this year. So that's just something that we're kind of waiting on more information for when it comes to um, these cards. So be careful with these team of the season cards. I do think it is a good investment opportunity but if we don't get a uh, other team this season like an EFL or a rest of the world early on with a lot of the more discard value cards I don't think team of the season most consistent is going to provide the opportunity for us to have a lot of those discard type team of the season cards because if you look at the guys that are in the voting for team of the season most consistent let's go to foothead right now and even look the, look at this ourselves um, and check this out foothead hashtag tots vote these are the guys that are in these are the guys that are in. Now you saw me pick in my tots vote that I posted on Twitter. I had a guy like Canales in there. I had a guy like um, Lissandro Lopez. And I had Thiago Mendez in there as well as, actually this is my tots vote right here. Um, those would be more of the SBC fodder investments. But as you see a lot of these guys, not a ton of them would be SB, SBC fodder investments. Um, Caputo, yes. Lissandro Lopez, probably yes. Canales, probably yes. Kevin Campbell, maybe. Moutinho, maybe. Uh, I forget what this guy's name is. Maybe. Mendez, maybe. But a lot of these guys kind of have some in-game value. People would want to actually use them. So that's why I'm, I'm just kind of cautious with the whole team of the season, most consistent, investing in those cards. Just be careful with that. Um, and take what I, what I just showed you with the FIFA 17 stuff. Take that into account as well. But to review, an easy way to prep your club for tots, go out and buy some rare gold players. Honestly, spend 100,000 coins stocking your club if you have the big coins uh, stock your club with the rare gold players look for the cheap cards during lightning rounds with the informs and with the high rated golds to get yourself ready for icon sbcs or for whatever sbcs that they may come out with during team of the season if you like this video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out